see, the right side of the sternocleidal muscle is very tense. I don't know, you want to feel it? You can see it by, only by palpation. You feel all this? Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. All this. And, trapezius here, trapezius here. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. The right side, right? Yeah. Now, the, the sternocleidal muscle and the trapezius, both of them are wrapped in the investing layer of the cervical function. And both of them are innervated by the accessory layer that go from here. Now let's see how we can release it. Let's check the jugular furrow. It's quite slow. Okay. You see your jugular furrow and here, this is where the accessory nerve is axiating and it's blocked. And this is one of the reasons that these two muscles are contracted. Okay, and I want you to feel here, you see, this is the joint between the occiput and the temporal. You see, when I'm pressing here, you feel it? And you see that when I'm going to press the other side, here, it's not happening. So this is, from here, the ag it's the exiting of the accessory nerve. So I want to release it now. Let's see how we can do it. I want to show you something. Uh -huh. Remember this was painful here. Uh -huh. I want to press it again. Ready? Uh -huh. I was feeling out. It's fine. It's fine. Uh -huh. Now I want to show you what happened to your skull. Ready? You see this is the sternal pedal mastery. Ready? Uh -huh. How is it feel now? It's fine. It's fine. Uh -huh. Now, two pieces. How is it feel now? Well, as fast as a little bit tender. A little bit. But you see the tension got reduced? Yeah. You see, when you put your, your hip in a different position, the occipital mastoid suture get open. Okay. And then the pressure from the nerve get reduced. Yeah. And then these two muscles that are innervated by accessory nerve can relax. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now? You see, when you do this, the greater hunter is going out a little bit, right? Yeah. And this is the position that we need to put you. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work mechanically on your hip to take the director to hunter a little bit out. Uh -huh. And then we're going to see that this gets released. Okay. You see, you just need to put you in this position and then the occipital mastery, it's open. Okay. And this is according to, there is an osteopath named Little John that described the force of gravity, how they pass in the body. And one of these forces comes to from the hip. And when it's finished, yeah. So let's let's see. Position of your occipits. You see what I'm doing? I'm doing pressure from left to right. You had a translation of the occiput to the right, and this block the occipital mastoid suture. So when I do like this, to the left side, like the force is moving, so all the occiput can go to the right, but when I try to move the, the occiput to the left, nothing happens, it's really blocked. Yeah. So now let's do the same test again. You see, I we feel that I press the right, and I feel got the left. Okay, now let's check the occipital mastoid. And the occipital mastoid is not released. So now let's feel this sternocleidal mastoid. Ready? How does it feel here? It's fine. It's fine. Now let's check the trapezius. How does it feel? It's fine. It's fine. Good. So the accessory nerve got released. Cool. 
instantaneous. <laughs>